everyone and thank you for stopping by on my channel. Today I will be going through the things that I have recently gotten to start with my art classes. So, so let's start with the pro markers. I have six pro markers in total, two black, two cool gray, and two warm gray. I have never used pro markers before and I hope to get some use out of them. They are Windsor Newton brand and I got them at our local bookstore. So I have two warm gray four, two cool gray one, and two just plain black. Now, aside from the pro markers, I have also gotten myself some Faber Castell Pit Artist pens. I was not able to find the brown ones at our local Hobby Lobby, so I was very excited when I came across them in our bookstore. They were $4 each, and I got two blacks, S and SB. I could not find the brown in S, which is my favorite size, but I found F and that's just as good. So now I will be showing you the sketchbooks I got. I got a Rhodia Blink. I think it's just marker paper. It's very thin, very very soft, no grain on it. I got this also at our local bookstore. I also got a Master's Touch Fine Art Studio sketchbook. It is 80 sheets, 8.5 by 11 inches, and it's very nice paper. It's got this off-white color, and I really like it. I'm excited to use it. It has this little spot to hold your pens or pencils and a bookmark so you never lose the page you're working on. Moving on to some of the stuff I'm more excited about. Uh, at our local bookstore I also found some rubber cement and this was $10. It comes with an assortment of tips that you have to cut the very end off of to use. It is Daniel Smith Artist Masking Fluid and I have been looking for this everywhere but I could not seem to find it in any of my local stores and I wasn't willing to buy it off offline. It comes with instructions and a rubber cement pickup. Oh, these are some bamboo brushes. I've never used bamboo brushes. They're hollow and they're very light and um, I think they're weasel hair at the ends, but I'm not absolutely sure about this. They're very large brushes, and it's very, uh, very rough hairs, but I kind of feel like these would be really good for painting hair. I got them in sizes 6, 2, and 4, and they are from Dick Blick, but I got them at our local bookstore. Last but not least, I got myself a 12 pack of Prismacolor Premier Pencils. I have always wanted a pack of these and never have been able to get one, but it was a requirement for school, so I got it. Now, I've always heard such amazing things about Prismacolor, but I've never used more than two colors myself, and the two colors I had were a bit awkward to use together. But I'm so I am quite excited to use these. They're really nice looking in this metal case, and it comes with all the primary colors. I also have these. I just got these in the mail today. They are water brush pens that I ordered off of eBay. Uh, I think they're both from Hong Kong, and I'm not sure who I ordered them from, but this is a very large one, and this is obviously the small size. I have two others of these, and I really like them a lot, so I just went ahead and got some, other, some more of them. I'll open this and just show the bristles. See, they're really flexible, like a nylon type thing, and they hold 
they hold a good amount of water and they work really well with my watercolors at least. I just kind of love them and they're something good to have, especially for traveling. Here's the small one. Now the small one comes with a cat for the little water. So that's it. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And I hope you come back for more because I will be uploading a 2016 sketchbook look for the year of 2016. Oh god. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video. Uh, thank you for coming.